Last batter in the Idaho was on the doorstep of every 12-year-old baseball player's dream, getting a berth in the Little League World Series. Only needing one more out to make the Little League World Series, Idaho proceeded to give up eight runs in shocking fashion. But first, how did the game get to this point? These teams faced off in the Northwest Regional Opener, with Idaho hanging on to win 6-4. Maybe this loss was what fueled Washington's comeback. Both teams started their best pitcher in the championship game. There was a lot on the line. Winner goes to Williamsport. Loser is eliminated. Idaho's ace had it going early on, with a relatively quick first few innings. In the second inning, Idaho struck, scoring two runs on multiple walks and a hit. Over the glove of Blair and into center field, a chance of the force play at second nine. There were some borderline ball strike calls that went Idaho's way. Fly ball, right field. Stolmeyer makes the catch. The throw home. Washington got it right back though, with a walk, a hit, and this perfect bunt down the third baseline. Oh no, look at that. It rolls back into fair territory and a base hit. Big play here. Washington hit a double all the way to the wall. Raleigh Jennings, a laser to the wall and left. With two outs, the runner on first tried to score, but a perfect relay to home got the runner out and kept the game tied. Then, in the bottom of the third inning, Idaho retook the lead on this two-run homer by Braden Lousman. This ball went well over the 225-foot fence in left field. All of the momentum appeared to be in Idaho's possession. Idaho would add a run to take a 5-2 lead going into the fourth inning. We were talking about when teammates talk about who is going to make it to the pro level. That's one of the questions. Every single one of them said Braden Lousman. You can see with the swing, especially on... With two outs in the fourth inning, Washington would strike as their Taylor. best hitter Jet Taylor would hit this two-run double into center field. Two runs will score, and Jet Taylor... Later in the inning, well. with Idaho's 1B pitcher in, Washington would tie the game on this swinging bunt. Lousma can't handle it. Tie ball game in San Bernardino. In the bottom of the fifth, with the game still tied at five, Idaho would take the lead on a wild pitch. Stolmeyer, here comes Dial to score. Huge strikeout here for Washington to limit the damage to one run, but now Washington was down to its final three outs. Idaho started the last inning out very strong. The first batter struck out, and the second batter bunted out to the pitcher. Hoover. Last batter in the order shows bunt lays it Idaho down. was Lousman. one out away from making the Little League World Series. Two down. Now down to their final strike. The Washington hitter did a good job to spoil an 0-2 pitch before ripping a two-out double down the line. Ripped into left field, all the way to the wall. Jennings to second base and the tying run is in scoring position for Washington. Comes and next up was Washington's Blair best hitter Braden Blair, Blair who had three homers three in three home games runs, in the regional tournament. Grand slam. This has been their hottest, most powerful hitter. He's hit balls they still can't find. To the lead. Very smartly, Idaho walked Blair with first base open. By Idaho. <laughs> Intentional walk. This walk brought up the number three hitter, Connor Morey, who was 0 for 2 thus far in the game. Morey was fooled on this 0-1 pitch, reaching out and hitting a pop-up into center field. The center fielder made a strange dive attempt, and the ball ended up deflecting off of his glove, scoring a run and leaving the go-ahead run at third. Morey was shocked. He thought the game was over. Then, all of a sudden, the runner on third sprinted home, and Washington Idaho took the lead. Throwing the ball around, not paying attention, and Braden Blair comes in to score. What just happened? Great job by Connor Morey, just finding the grass, getting it out there to the outfield. Hudson Greason, great effort trying to dive for this, just misses it. One run comes in. This is where I On replay, you can see the runner like stop at third after the play the ends, batter, but look at the catcher. The catcher for some reason starts walking to the dugout, leaving home plate unoccupied and allowing the runner to score easily. Great heads up 
Let me know in the comments if you think this was Bush League by Washington. This play seemed to give Washington all of the momentum. The next batter hit a single up the middle. Then, a grounder to the shortstop ended up being an infield hit, as the shortstop seemingly didn't realize there wasn't a runner on first. The runner was called out on the field, but replay review clearly showed that the runner was safe. play at second, realizes there's no runner, and... After the review, runner is safe. Now an 8-6 game, Jet Taylor came up huge again with this three-run homer to center field. Going back is Greason over the wall in center, and it's a three-run Washington, run which was down to its Jet final Taylor. strike with no one on base, suddenly had an 11-6 lead. Six straight runs with two outs. Great this swing by Taylor does. to they hit this to ball well the over the 225-foot fence. Runs. They've been down this whole game, and Jet Taylor here, three more runs. This graphic perfectly sums up Washington. Last they are never out with two outs. For Washington with two outs. A hit by pitch and a single put Washington in business again. Aiden Pair, RBI single from Maury. There's another single for Foster. The next batter hit a pop-up to center field, which was eerily similar to the one that tied the game for Washington. The center fielder couldn't catch the ball, giving Washington a six-run lead. And another run scores for Washington. Everything was going Washington's way, as this grounder was booted by the Idaho second baseman. Hartnett boots that one. 13-6, Washington. Finally, the two-out rally came to an end on this ground out to the pitcher. Schaupacher has it. And that ends the top half of the sixth inning. Idaho would stage a bit of a comeback in the last of the sixth inning. But this fly out to First right field swinging. clinched the game Into and right a little league World line. Series berth for Washington. Catches Hoover, and Washington completes the comeback. And for a fourth straight year... Washington sends a team to Williamsport. What an effort it was for Puyallup to not be phased by pressure-filled, two-out moments. Good luck in Williamsport. 38 runs in their three wins after losing to Idaho in their first game. Thanks for watching. Unbelievable fight from this team from Puyallup.